Hello everyone, welcome back to Garden Fever. I'm Corey Lefever, and I wanted to bring you all an update on my wisteria. I planted it last year when I moved into this new, uh, into my new house, and a lot of people wanted an update. So I just wanted to give you guys a real quick uh, update on my wisteria. They both came back. Uh, this is one that's doing the best right here. Um, I'm gonna. It's been. It's over winter. I haven't given it much attention. So this spring, now that it's starting to warm up, I'm gonna start working on trellising this better. But, uh, and that brings me to another thing. I wanted to kind of expel what I believe to be a little bit of, of a myth of when it comes to wisteria. Now, wisteria is a, an aggressive vine. It grows to be quite big over its lifespan. Um, and a lot of people freak out and totally think that if they plant this next to any kind of a structure that over time it's just going to totally destroy that structure. Um, that's not that I mean there is some truth that you can get structural damage from wisteria um, I do recommend a strong strellis trellis because it does get very big but it is it is manageable and you can uh, you can braid it you can train it you can um, there's ways around this um, and, I, and I'm going to give some examples of wisteria hundreds of year olds I mean just generation year old wisteria draped over all kinds of buildings and structures in Europe and in various places um, the belief that if you just put it next to something it's just going to destroy that structure and you're doomed is it's is a false fear um, you can get some damage from it like I said to just to repeat myself it's not like it's uh, but with any plants any plant that you plant next to anything could cause damage to it so you, it just takes a little bit of care so anyway this is Corey Lefever with Garden Fever. I'm going to go ahead and get to those examples and uh, just a quick update.